In the early 2000s up to the early 2010s, we had a period of free and open source games that were readily available and easy to access. There were no paywalls behind them and they were packed with content. One of those games was Zenotic, a completely free shooter inspired by Quake. In fact, a good number of free shooters were inspired by the same game. Games like Red Eclipse, Alien Arena, Cube 2 and many more would come to life. They weren't that popular at the time, but they all had thriving communities that carried the torch that Quake had passed over. And to this day, these communities still exist, even though they've slowly dwindled over the years. But I'll be going over one of them today, which is Zenotic. In 2001, Lee Vermeulen had started developing a modification project for Quake, titled Nexus. It was made to be in the same spirit as its source material, and would later move on to the Dark Places engine. Over the years, it would receive continual updates and tweaks to its features and overall gameplay and graphics. It was a great option for Linux users because of its open source roots, and was accessible across the board. Eventually, a different studio would re-release the game after buying the rights to the Nexus product. This version of Nexus would release in 2012, powered by the CryEngine 3. Upon release, it received mixed reviews, and most of the original Nexus community ultimately rejected it due to the overall distaste of the game. Around the same time, the original game would be renamed Xenotic, which is what we have now, but you could still find earlier builds of the game as well as another alternate version called Rexus. As for the game itself, well, it plays a lot like Quake, a game for Quakers, so to speak, which basically means you'll die a lot if you're new to these type of games. Arena shooters have always been difficult to get into, and this game is no exception, but if you're bred from the days of fragging and Quake Deathmatch, then you'll feel at home here. A lot of the weapons are based off of other games as well as Quake itself, they have alternate firing modes, they function in similar ways, and for a game of its age, Zenotic holds up pretty well. It's dated both visually and artistically for what the main focus was to nail the core gameplay, which is something that every arena shooter in its prime had in common. You're not coming into this game for a story or to learn about its universe. Every map and every hour spent is all for the top frag, coupled with a solid sense of gameplay, movement and weapon handling. Like Quake, as well as other old-school arena shooters, tournaments and pro matches have been held, but it's only supported by a small but dedicated community. If you're looking for a healthy, popular player base, unfortunately you won't really find it here, which is a common thing among a lot of these type of games. But does that make this not worth playing? Of course not. It plays really well, looks nice for a free Linux game, has a huge variety of maps and game modes, but if you can find people online through the Xenotic community, you may either find a sweat fest or a good gateway into the arena shooter genre. Plus, it's also completely free with no paywalls. Thank you for watching.